the value of water. It's something we take for granted here in Northeast Wisconsin, yet it's something we all enjoy and need. We have an abundance of streams, rivers, and lakes, which are essential to our economy, our ecosystem, and our well-being. Water is the foundation for a sustainable community. At New Water, the brand of the Green Bay Metropolitan Sewerage District, caring for water is a 24-hour a day, seven day a week, 365 day a year job, and it has been since it was established in 1931. We are a wholesale provider of municipal wastewater services. Our coverage area is 285 square miles. We serve 200, approximately 219,000 people and 18 municipalities are in our service area. The plant you're looking at right now is the Green Bay facility, which uh, average daily flow through the plant is about 30 million gallons per day. We also operate a facility in De Pere, which is called our De Pere facility, located about seven miles south of here, which treats on an average of eight million gallons per day. To meet the needs of the present and future, new water and stakeholders developed an innovative plan to replace the solids handling system at its Green Bay facility. Resource recovery and electrical energy, simply known as R2E2. We're standing in front of our existing solids handling facility building and this will be going down or demolished as part of the R2E2 project and we'll be putting up our new uh, facility just to the south of the existing facility uh, with our digesters and our new solids handling building. It's needed in, in my mind for three different reasons. One, the age of the existing equipment. So the majority of the equipment here um, was, was put in, installed in the mid-70s. Uh, secondarily, uh, the new water and environmental regulations. And, and thirdly, uh, to make sure that we have the type of operation that's sustainable for the long term and provides the best bang for the buck for our customers. The approach to the R2E2 project was a collaborative effort. A stakeholder advisory group investigated solids handling solutions not only across the United States, but around the globe in an effort to find the best solution for our community. Well, there was a lot of exchange of information and a lot of dialogue on the approach to the project and the cost, um, w which we feel as customers was, was very positive for both parties. R2E2 represents a new philosophy for new water. Now the organization treats what's sent to the facility not as a waste, but as a resource stream to be recovered and reused. The R2E2 project is um, to take that material, um, the solid material, and try to generate um, a, a methane gas through anaerobic digestion so that methane gas then can be can be used for heat or for um, running an uh, engine. Generate electricity from that methane gas to um, offset the amount that we have to buy from the uh, public utility. Recover as much of the heat that comes either from generating electricity or from um, the other processes and use that in our facility. R2E2 embraces both environmental stewardship and resource recovery as its guiding principles. The electricity generated by R2E2 each year could power about 90,000 household light bulbs. In addition, the mineral struvite will be extracted from the waste stream and made into a commercial fertilizer, which will bring in an additional $400,000 in revenue each year. Looking at the waste as a resource really turns the operation around using the right amount of equipment, the right type of equipment, uh, to perform those operations, to keep the costs low, and to have a sustainable operation. Resource recovery and energy recovery are very important because in a project of this size, the amount of savings that you can generate by recovering whatever energy and resources you can becomes a very significant cost savings overall. And when you look at the long-term life of the facility, you know, it's a huge dollar number, which really not only benefits the facility in terms of its operation, but it benefits us as customers. As the project evolves, New Water staff is front and center on this exciting new journey of resource recovery. 
our staff has kind of caught the fever of the resource recovery and, and they keep thinking about different ways and different things that we might recover. It, it's a journey as to where we want to be from moving again from that uh, simply treating wastewater um, as, as at the lowest cost possible to doing the best we can, looking at that material as a resource and reclaiming as many things as we can economically reclaim from what others consider to be a waste. It's an amazing achievement, uh, one that NACWA uh, wants to applaud. And let me just say here, congratulations to Tom, to the staff at New Water, to the board of New Water uh, for this amazing effort. Uh, we look forward to bringing it to the nation's attention um, and ultimately having other utilities follow in New Water's uh, footsteps. Um, New Water in this instance um, is nothing more or less than a pioneer for the utility of the future and we thank you for all the work you have done in helping us uh, make this effort a success.